not so on the I-Pace. The hood of this glossy SUV is short and sloped, and the base of its aggressively raked windshield meets the body over the front wheels. This from the company that once produced the E-Type, which was essentially all hood. The short nose and the clipped rear overhang mean that even though the I-Pace is about 2 inches shorter overall than an F-Pace, it rides on the wheelbase 4.6 inches longer. The I-Pace concept's roof is almost 4 inches closer to the ground than the F-Paces, too. The vehicle pictured here is the I-Pace concept that Jaguar unveiled at last year's Los Angeles Auto Show. And like other recent Jaguar concepts, the production I-Pace will look almost identical to the concept, simply replace the 23-inch wheels with more conventionally sized units and drop the glowing blue lighting. Like its competitor from Tesla, the I-Pace concept carries its 90 kWh battery pack in the floor. There's every reason to expect that the production version will have the same capacity. This liquid-cooled energy store, mounted in an aluminum housing that forms part of the vehicle's its structure, delivers power to two Jagga-designed electric motors, one for each axle. In the concept, those motors each produce 200 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. The company reckons that that'll be enough power to get the aluminum-intensive I-Pace to 60 miles per hour in about 4 seconds. Jaguar estimates that the I-Pace should be able to travel more than 220 miles on the road. The target starting price under $100,000. The I-Pace will be built by Magnus de in Austria. Further down the road, we expect Jaguar will use this platform, with its unequal length control arm front and multi-link rear suspensions, for a sedan. After all, the company has promised that by 2025, half the vehicles it produces will have an electrified version of one sort or another. The S-Type will not be among them.